Tonight at 10, the voters decide that after four decades, it's time for Britain to leave the European Union. But I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain that steers our country to its next destination. Across Asia today, we have seen shares fall on the major markets like Japan's Nikkei down more than 7%. And now look what happened. It tumbled down to levels down there not seen since the 1980s. Many people in the financial markets caught perhaps uh, unawares by this decision. Brexit means Brexit and we are going to make a success of it. Brexit, probably one of the most talked about, oversaturated and overall stupidest topics to talk about all around the UK. So why are we unravelling this mess? So we got in Jack Labour, a documentary creator who is vastly known for his unpredictable and controversial work. We thought he would be the best person in breaking down the racist side of Brexit and figuring out if the reasons people voted to leave the EU are real. Yeah, so we've got so got a few ideas for this. Um, we're right. thinking of doing it about animals. Okay. At, at the um, first. Well, not being funny, but no one gives a shit about animals unless they've been beaten or shagged. <sighs> okay. Well, what about prime ministers? We've only had two female prime ministers. What about that? They were both twats, to be honest, weren't they? What What about Brexit? Brexit. Fox Brexit. My name is Jack Labour, and this is The Brexit. What the fuck are you doing? Brexit. The debate that has halted the nation. The same question has been asked in every single home. Should we leave, or should we go? But instead of listening to some old brag talk about house prices, the economy, or house prices, I'm going to be listening to the people who won't die in the next few years. The younger generation. I'm here at Lincoln University to find out what the younger generation think of Brexit. Did you vote Leave or Remain? Um, I didn't actually vote in it because I was under the age, however, that Brexit. But did you vote Leave or Remain? I didn't vote. Okay, um, I, I would have voted, uh, I would have voted Remain. Remain? Okay, why? Because, yeah. um, if we were voting Leave, we would have... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Right. Because the memes. The memes? Yeah. The memes? Why the memes? <laughs> what is this? Huh? What is this? <laughs> this is a documentary, son. A documentary? Hi, Mum. Migration has been a problem for a number of years. Bravo. We've got to do a documentary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, it's like a mockumentary. <laughs> down the street, I started to notice more minorities. Browns, yellows, gays. So I decided to talk to one to find out how they got in the country and how safe are we. I'm here with local college student and local brown, Dylan Yoni. Hi. So Dylan, what do you think of Brexit? I don't think Brexit was a good decision. Why? Um, I think Is it because of immigration? No. I think Brexit brought a lot of problems like... Immigration? Business. No, not like business-wise, not immigration. Why not immigration? Um, I don't think immigration is an issue with Brexit. I don't think it's as big of a deal as people make it out to be. I think it's more just about patriarchy. Is it now? Patriarchy. Patriarchy. Okay. Yeah. How did you get into this country, Dylan? I, uh, by plane. So did you vote Leave or Remain? I didn't get a chance to vote, but I would have voted Remain if I could. Why? <laughs> because whilst a lot of politicians were saying, you know, Remain, it's crucial, or Leave, it's crucial, no one actually knew the facts. Remaining was the only thing that was certain, and let's face it, 
the EU is never going to appreciate anyone saying, I don't want to be with you anymore, but I hold all the cards. We don't hold all the cards, we hold no cards. And now we're in a situation where we're going to have a concept of no deal, which means absolutely nothing, apart from bad luck for us. Do you think leaving the EU was a good idea, though, after voting? Yes. Yeah. I still do. Why? I think that when we leave the EU, we are in control of our destiny, not people in Europe who we cannot vote out. Would you like an interview about Brexit? So did you vote Leave or Remain? Remain. Remain. Yes. OK, good. You're not racist. Um, do you think that was a good idea? We vote to Remain. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Do you think it was a bad idea leaving that? Um, there's no plans, I think to invoke Article 50 without a secure plan of what they wanted to do was foolish. So yeah, I think it was um, a bad, bad decision. How much of this will affect you? Who knows? <laughs> um, we don't know yet. So I guess that's the problem. We don't actually know what, um, what the effect's going to be. If we leave no deal, then it's a disaster because we've got 750 treaties that we need to kind of renegotiate, which takes time. So I don't think it's going to affect us. It's quite scary. Well, what do you vote? I voted away. You can right. film, you're all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> yeah, I, I, I voted get out. That, the yeah. only reason being, because I was sick to death of somebody telling us what to do. Immigration's got nothing to do with it. Yeah. I'm not interested in, in that everybody's, you, you know, have to live somewhere. But to me, it was them telling us what to do. And that's what, uh, <clears throat> that's done it for me, actually, right, yeah. Great stuff. Um, what do you think about Brexit? What do you think? <laughs> Well, she's a Spanish dog anyway, you see, so she's come ah. here. As long as everything's cushed to cone and she can remain in this country, yes. that's not a problem, is it? That's good. Yeah. What do you think of Brexit? Well, yeah, have you seen the statistics yes. of Boston? And in the EU referendum, more people in Boston voted to leave the EU than anywhere else in the UK. Of yes. how many people voted leave? Do you think they're a little bit racist? Uh, I don't think it's about racism or not. I think it's all the subject was conducted for them to vote that way. So as a foreigner, do yeah. you think how much of this will affect you? Uh, I don't think it will affect me because I'm in this country to produce something good. So I don't think it will affect me. And of that there could be no doubt whatever. Uh, I mean, we're in a mess. We're in a complete and total mess. There's, there's no hate crime in Boston, by the way. Taken back, and Boris, we take back control, and, and you Boris, would have, Boris. you would have Boris, a, uh, a fantastic opportunity to spend that money Boris, here in this country. Boris, you can't just keep talking when I'm trying to jump in.